episode 19. I'm going to call this one, I have nothing to say. I can't catch any pike, I'm sulking, I've got a stinking cold, so I thought the best thing to do is actually come and visit Mr. Bates at his tackle shop. So we're going to surprise him and we're going to do the podcast from there. No doubt he'll bore us with loads of his matches and results, but at least it's something to talk about this week. For those of you that don't know where he lives, I'm going to take you on a very quick trip to the tackle shop at Rookery Waters. So here we go, here's a quick ride through Piddly. Well, we made it in one piece, even past the dodgy potholes. Let's nip inside the shop and see what young Mr. Bates is up to. Saying, boy? Not a lot, mate. <laughs> Not hey, hey. Mr. Bates, how are we? I'm good, thank you. Look at this. He knows his place. In the little hole. Thought I'd catch out, look. <laughs> oh, working all day, eh? Stop sweating, eh? Yeah. Are you allowed home? No, not till the cold. Until about six o'clock. You know. You like that? Yeah, you. Yeah. So normally we're doing the podcast from Page Towers and we're getting the end of the season and we're sort of, what should we cover today? Well, we've come to my shop today and um, as you can see, stairs behind me, the shop is above the cafe at Rookery Waters. So we're going to do a little tour around the shop of basically um, Aladdin's Cave, of a bit of everything. If you're a match angler, you'll be uh, in your element. So well, as we come upstairs, Obviously we've got hats, we've got millions of hats, every manufacturer's got hats. Um, we'll start off in Drennan, so we've obviously got a full range of Drennan clothing, full sizes. Normally if there's something in Drennan you want, we've got it. Um, then you've got luggage, we've got all the Drennan luggage. So then we'll move round to more luggage. We've got the new Hydra pole bags, they're brilliant, I mean they're for like your top kits. That's a medium size, that's a larger one. More clothing, so these are just one size of what we've got in stock. Loads and loads of different clothing, whether it's Maver, Matrix, obviously Guru, Preston, that's in the wrong place, but they are. We've got full, you know, full suits, whether it be summer or winter, footwear, um, more luggage, we've got too much gear. Um, obviously Enzon's been really popular this year for me. EVA bags, more cool bags, you know, if you're just after something just general, the Black Magic range of luggage is really, really good. It's brilliantly priced as well, along with the um, the Matrix Aquos, that's been really popular. New Guru, got all the Fusion range of luggage. Move around here, rod bags in the corner. Preston Superior, really good gear. It's ideal when you can just wipe clean, really, really good. Competition range, which is again, is sort of your middle of the road. You know, 50 quid for a six tube holder, really, really good. Um, just pop that back up. Barra bag, brilliant big clip. Um, obviously, we're a, a Matrix MTX gold stockist, so if you want to look at a pole, from the MTX4 we've got in stock, MTX3, 2, 1, carry a lot of spares for the MTX range, so if you are a 
you know, user of the MTX range, come and see us. We're normally pretty competitive on the old price on on the poles. And if you, you're looking for a pole and you want to compare, we'll be more than happy to help you out. Um, Acolyte rods, Acolyte margin pole, that's a new one there. So we've got a full range of Acolyte rods. And then if we move around this way, so hooks, pretty much all of these hooks here are all barbed. I mean, as you know, I'm, I'm, I love my draining river fishing. Um, we've got Garbolino silverfish hooks, new Hydra hooks, long shank, perfect for speed fishing. Got your Hayabusa's, the 157's, brilliant for feeder fishing. Um, 128's in black nickel and standard nickel. Moving down, two Bettini, so we've got 808s for your commercial fishing, 175s. Then you've got Series 18s, really popular for in the summer, whether you're fishing the broads or drains or islands. Series 39s, brilliant feeder hook, especially the size, I think it's a size 13, they do brilliant for short chuck feeder work. Series 4s, again, drain hook, A1Rds. Gamma Katsu, Gamma Greens, Blacks, Pellet Hooks, Powers. These are very popular. The red ones, really popular for feeder fishing. Got loads in a host of sizes. Coluso, do the sewed lights and the Chica 2405s. More Colmic Hooks, Fluorocarbon, been really popular, the King Fluorocarbon Stream. Waiting for a top up of that this week. It's been really, really popular since the video I did with Catch More Media. Is quality hook length line X5000 ready tied hook lengths. These are good for you angler that hasn't got the time to um, tie a load of hooks. They come on a card, three 405s or 3530s. Really, really good. Magic nets. You're probably thinking, what the hell is that? Well, in the summer. Obviously, well, I know what, that is. what is that for wetting your pellets? You could do it, yeah, you could use it for that. But what it's actually designed for is maggots, um, so the air can get to them, but they can't get out of this mesh, so they stay cool. It's a really, really good idea. That's why they're called magic nets. Obviously, they come in different shapes and sizes. Um, this is brilliant. We were going to do a one minute walkthrough. Yeah, it's five minutes already. Wow, well, I know. This is just I know. it is Aladdin's cave. <laughs> it is, it's incredible. Drennan. All the hooks, all the line, elastics, and then feeders. I mean, if you just go along here, Andy, I mean, I think I've got a feeder fetish. I've got more feeders than I've got floats, and that's saying something. But uh, Cresta feeders, long range feeders. If you're going to Holland, you've got your claw feeders on the big on the Isle and all those there. Got them. Um, obviously you've got your black caps if you're going river fishing, even though there's none around here. Window feeders, you've got your big Denix ones, like your bait up ones if you're going to Ireland. Got them. Um, these, are, these are popular. Frenzy feeders, little square ones, plug the ends up. Um, Olivets, bread punches, catapults, more floats. If we just spin round, pole floats got thousands and thousands of pole floats should get a better display really but I'll just end up having more and more floats uh, you get Mark Pollard ones there more little nice little drain floats Burks Siwi floats flat floats you're probably thinking what on earth are they they're nearly as big as what you use for your pipe fishing Crusoe's torpedoes bubbles um, more there. Cole McJollies, very popular. All of the Gloucester patterns and all the other Daiwa Carpers, Albertos, popular on the Y and river fishing. Uh, Dudas, love these. Brilliant for a little bit of hemp or castor fishing. And you've got your, like, your Guillaume's or Williams, um, whip floats, loads of them. And then obviously you've got full range of Drenham floats. These have been really, really popular. So the SF2s, love them, interchangeable bristles. Great for when the light changes. Um, obviously you've got full range commercial setups. Um, and then obviously you've got your pellets. Ready rigs. Um, Drennan do a really good range of ready rigs. Awesome. Um, Simon Wills and more ready rigs as well. Banglers fishing on the drains. These are, they're 450. You couldn't tie them up better yourself. 
all you got to do is add your hook length. Um, so they come in the carbon squats, Balabini shot, a bit of a hydra display, silicon and bits and bobs. And then we'll move over here. Obviously more Drennan gear. Kamazan hooks, 7-11s. These are the hooks that are going to beat you with your swing tip. <laughs> Um, you got to catch them at first to hook Well, it. yeah. 512 is very popular in Ireland, especially in the tens. You know, big hooks in Ireland, especially in the north. Um, Kamazam 911s, obviously the new PTFE coated Kamazans have been popular. Polaris floats, that's something you'd probably use. That's way too big. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> pellet wagglers, big loaded wagglers, and then these are nice, these are really popular. Drake floats. A lot of shops don't stock that, but Drake. Onions, you'll remember oh, these. Yes. Look at them. Yeah, look. Onions. Proper drain float, look. Onions. Um, obviously, we do the G Wags. Um, all the new wagglers from Drennan. More feeders, these are nice. Really nice. Especially you know, um, when you're fishing tight over on the drains and you want a bit of cloud in your peg, like a bit of sloppy ground bait. They go in nice and brilliant, brilliant feeder. You change the leads on those. More wagglers, um, Matrix, obviously do a lot of Matrix, these have been really popular this year, a new toss pot or flexible pot, um, different lids, different scenarios, three different sizes, Slick, sold hundreds and hundreds of packets of that this year, bread punches, more feeder gear, swivel, snap links, more feeders, um, like I say, Method feeders, horizon feeders, bell feeders, inline feeders, um, obviously you've got the seat box, more feeders. I tell you what, it's only when you're showing things out, you, this is ridiculous. I know, you it's have... mental. I know, orbit feeders, more box accessories, trays, and if we turn around here, you've got Maver full range of Maver gear, a lot of elastic for commercial fishing, it's a nice range of wagglers for still waters and for flowing, we do a lot of the bolo Maver floats as well, ready rigs, more box accessories, line, line I've got tons of, um, I do like that, I use that myself as main line and it's been, it's been pretty good to be honest, really good, bit of frenzy, more pots, more elastics, bait bands, these are probably my favourite bait bands, They'd, there's a lot of bait bands on the market, but after a while they perish and when you've had an 8mm pellet and then you want to go down to a 6 they tend to be soft, whereas with these they go back every time. Really, really good bands. More silicon, more hooks. Midi elastic, obviously the 1 to 2, 3 to 4, selling a lot of that. Pole protection and browning. So then do your pole. Oh, I'm glad you said that, I don't look like a safety. <laughs> more oh, you've not heard that No, never, no, no. Moving on, bit of a everything board. Uh, new fish zip, been really popular. Five quid for um, three meters, really good. More silicon, snap mix swivels, they're really, really popular. Garblino line, G line, um, Gamakatsu G line, Shimano line, a bit of brown in braid. Maxima, old faithful. Um, it's still going strong, this is yeah, the same package Yeah, uh, styles, half styles, more um, toys, um, silicon, silicon, no, uh, bristle paint, uh, bait droppers, the old uh, match team seal star, really popular, uh, and then move on to Daiwa. So, got spare tips, like the um, mega tops, big eyes, Got distance tips as well, and then uh, believe it or not, we've got some more feeders. I can't believe you've got more feeders. Yeah, you don't have enough feeders. Yeah, no. these are, I think, going to be quite popular in summer. So, more of the ends on range. We're really impressed with the ends on range of feeder gear, um, leads or earrings, whatever you want to call it. But, um, more snap links, nose cones for all the Diver UK made poles, braid, Diver sensor. Hydro elastic, hydro connectors, uh, hook boxes that come in and sold out within three days. So I've got more of them to come in. And the shelf that's falling down. Feeder boxes, hand towels, pole socks, uh, more ends on luggage. Got your 
the sliders if he's going on the use or hopefully he'll be using these on the Gloucester. Bait brollies. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's not forget the bait brollies. Yeah, bait brollies. More pole socks. Um, and then we'll just go behind here. We've got Cresta, more feeders, um, hook boxes, a bit of everything really with them. New connectors, they're quite cool. And then moving on to Preston. So we've got tons and tons of Preston. Obviously, they do everything from feeders up to seat boxes to rods, reels, and everything. But uh, the ICS range of feeders, brilliant because you can have one rod and say you want to put some bait in at the start with a normal feeder and then fish a small method over the top all on one rod. Just take that off, slide that off, slide the next one on, chuck out in exactly the same spot. Then you've got your moulds, stems, line, absolute feeder braid. I've been using that for about a year now and I like it. I mean, people get put off by the colour but it is a good braid. It sinks. Uh, sinking feeder mono, power line, bungs, stops, um, elastics, all your general bits and bobs, ready tied mag lock hook links that go into the hook boxes, more hooks, uh, you got your barbless range and then the end range of natural hooks. These are good, <coughs> the uh, Evolution hook boxes, they're um, perfect for your feeder fishing on natural venues so if you're going in the summer on the drains they're perfect for that. More pots, uh, Winders, more side trays, add on units, seat boxes, everything you can think of with the uh, seat box accessories and um, window feeders from small up to the big monsters like that, getting a bit baiting, obviously caged or solid. And then um, and you got the distance feeders, these have been really popular in the summer for um, places like the Thern and the, and the Bure, just small pinch of ground bait, sort, sort of short chuck, catching sort of 30, 40 pound of skimmers, mega fishing up there. Really enjoy going uh, down there even. Pole pots, um, more stuff, seat boxes, whips, um, obviously being in the fens we do a lot of whip fishing, you've got from 3 metres up to 8 metres, from 30 quid up to 350 quid. Top kits um, from Daiwa, margin poles, um, we do spares, obviously uh, mini, mini fex extensions, short fours, power kits, match kits, F1 kits, all of those. Um, although we are predominantly a match shop, obviously we do cater for your general pleasure angler that wants to do a bit of pike fishing on the drains, like Andy Page. Uh, <laughs> You know, he's, he says he goes fishing, but we haven't got no proof that he catches anything yet. I did show uh, a photograph once. Oh, right, once. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, lures, little jellies, a um, bit of ESP, sell a bit online, and obviously anglers fishing on Rook Lake do tend to use this sort of gear. They got up to £28. Um, landing nets, loads and loads of landing nets from your rubber nets so your hair rigs don't get caught. Specimen nets, you know, if you're a pleasure fishing here, bang on for that. Uh, unhooking mats, keep nets, um, the old Mava signature, they're uh, match nets, they're brilliant. Your hooks don't get caught, well, your barbed hooks don't get caught, you can just take them straight out, especially when you're catching them nice roach and every one you get in, the hook's caught in the net. You think, oh. you're making little holes in your net, but you don't get that with them. More rubber nets, commercial nets, um, then these, obviously these you can't use in the UK but if you're going on holiday to Ireland, um, Holland, you can use those on the continent and they are brilliant, hooks don't get caught in them at all, uh, but obviously you're not allowed to use them in the UK. Way bags, more keep nets, reels from 14 99 up to 350 quid. You got your distance reels, TDRs, obviously in Shimano Altegras, um, and you got the compact Brownings, Ninjas, TDRs, ballistics, bit of everything really. Matrix reels, I stock those. Um, and then behind you've got Guru. Obviously, being on commercial fish, we stock a massive range of of Guru products. Um, these have been popular on the drains. Fangers that you know haven't got time or can't be asked to tie up 
brilliant. Um, these are good for Ireland. Again, if you're uh, going to Ireland or if you're fishing natural venues, similar to the Preston hook lengths we was on about earlier, they're brilliant for that. Feeder boxes, fluorocarbon, more hooks, more line, um, catapults, boxes, hook boxes, the um, you know the high tech towels from the tackle shop equipment. <laughs> Worth a fortune. Yeah, yeah. Hybrid feeders, method feeders, pellet wagglers, more window feeders, more ground bait feeders, weight extra leads, bait up feeders. Obviously fridges for the bait. Um, moving round here, some leads. Then you got more rods. So you got the ends on range. Uh, tournaments. We have a selection of tournament rods. Um, odd acrobat sneaked in there somehow. Uh, vertex rods, brilliant mid-price range. Obviously, then we got the ground bait R, which we did a 20-minute video on. Um, moving a bit further. Obviously got the hydro products and our pellets which are four bags for a tenner, you know, your coppings or scrattings and then a range of um, hookers. These have been good this year as well, the old advantage bait pop-ups. And that brings us back to the start really. So Alex, that's really comprehensive, but I've learnt one thing from walking around with you and that is you can't just come in the shop and just pick up something. You've got to speak to yourself, your yeah, dad, definitely. granddad, because this is such a, a wealth of information here. It's incredible. It is, yeah. I mean, we sort of pride ourselves on our own fresh bait and we want to offer a service where, you know, ask us something and we give you an honest opinion. Um, you know, if it's something that we don't feel is right for where you're going or what you need, then we're not going to sell it to you. You know, we are competitive on price on a lot of things, but these small items and stuff like that you don't tend to see in the real big superstores and we offer a you know a friendly proper tackle shop service if you know what I mean. I think that's you've hit the nail on the head it's the small things that make the difference because there's so many little bits and pieces yeah. it's incredible you've got uh, something for everything I remember last year when I came in <coughs> there was a couple of guys wanted different different hand towels but depending on which brand they were just so it went with their yeah, gear. Yeah I mean I've that's got incredible. Matrix, Guru, Spotted Finn, Drennan, Daiwa, you know, it's just hands out. I mean, as anglers, we're all tackle tarts at heart, and, you know, you buy into the brand. So, you know, someone might make um, an elastic, I don't know, for example, bread punches. You might be, you know, a massive Matrix fan, and why not? But, you know, Drennan do bread punches, Guru do bread punches. It's like method feeders. Every brand does their own method feeders, and everyone likes one different for different reasons. And, you know, you have to stock everything nowadays, and we can't stock everything, but we try to stock as much stuff as we can. Well, I think you've got just about everything. It's absolutely fantastic. So, we try to do a bit of a walkthrough. So, <coughs> podcast wise, hopefully that will come over um, not just a list of things. We've done a video to go with it, so I really pers like to persuade people to try and look yeah. at the, the video on YouTube. Mate, that's absolutely brilliant.